Ahmed, um, what, what's your name and what you what you do, please? Yes, I'm Mariam Issa Ahmed, and I'm a student. Uh, Mariam who? Issa Ahmed. Okay, it's Mariam Issa Ahmed. Okay, you might you might need to speak a little louder just because of the noise in the background. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long have you been part of this protest, and and how, how has it been? How has the experience been? Um, since just one week. It's going well, and I know with this we can have some changes, honestly. Okay, what specifically are we, what kind of changes specifically are we, are we looking for? Exact, for this personality and order. Oh, okay, but then the, the government is saying it has ended, ended SARS. That's uh, just a saying, that's just a word. We don't believe it, because we don't see, see them wearing, we yeah, both see them wearing their uniforms. Which means the resource still, still, because their office still exists. If they want us to believe that the answers, let them go in the office at all. Okay, so um, uh, you, you've been part of this protest since Monday. Now, um, reports emerged this morning uh, that that um, NSAS protesters were burning um, shops, burning cars, and attacking innocent citizens in the terminus area of Jos Plateau State. What, what, what have you to say? Honestly, I can say it. They are not among us. Those are maybe some people give them money to just cause some problem within the people. You know, people think that this thing is just religious, but it is not religious. We need for our own selves, our younger ones and our children. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're okay. Um, can we have have your name and probably what you do, please? My name is Chagwa Solo. I'm a teacher, I'm a music maker, and I'm a printer. Okay, great. So, um, what have have, have been the, the the gains of this protest so far? So far, this protest has been very peaceful. Uh, as you can see, these are young people and some few aged men and women who are here talk directly to speak to the power that be in this country that we need to end us, we need to end police brutality, and we need to end, we need to change every system that is retrogressive in this country. But so far it has been very peaceful, and I want to believe uh, the government have heard us, they are still listening to us, because every day that we gather here, they see us, they hear us speak. So I'm, I'm very optimistic that government of the day will do the needful. Okay, what makes you so optimistic aside from just, I mean, what specifically makes you confident that the government will, will act on that? Or on, act on the requests or the demands? Proponents of democracy say the voice of the people is the voice of God. So for young people to gather in their numbers in the whole of this country, to speak to the government, I'm sure the government must listen. Because for many of us together, like we are speaking the man of God. That is what democracy says. Okay, that is why I'm optimistic. Do you believe that the president has the power to do everything, like to overturn these fortunes or the fortunes of Nigeria overnight? We are not asking him to change anything overnight. But let him start something. If I were to advise the president, I will ask him to speak to us this day, this evening. Tell us, my fellow Nigerians, my children, I've heard you, I've heard your cries, I've heard your agitations. Give me from now to so 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 day and day and day. I should be able to take care of these things. If I don't, continue your protest or I will resign or something. But the man is yet to say anything. But he is our president. Everything that happens in this nation will fall down and is stable. So he is responsible. He has the capacity because he is the one that appoints all the ministers. He is the one that is in charge of all the parastatas. He has the power and he has, should be, have the ability to do that. Okay, but, but do, you, do you think calling for the resignation of, the, of a democratically elected president is constitutional? If we ask the president to resign, it's constitutional. Number one, he has failed in his number one responsibility, which is to secure the lives and properties of Nigerian citizens. But this protest is not even about 
asking the president to resign. This protest is about asking the president and the government in power to bring change to the policing system in this country and some other issues that bother us in this country. We see our Boko Haram, we see our uh, last men attack, we see how what they call the bandits, we have unemployment, so many issues in this country. So it's not about the president resigning. Even if you have another president today, the same issues will continue to come up. So the people is not the problem, but the system. If the system is well gendered and balanced, whoever comes in as a president will have no choice but to operate within the system. So our challenge is the system, not the person. Okay, but but you said you, you said the, the, the president's resignation is not the issue. But um, yesterday we saw footages of rioters in Ogun saying uh, Buhari must go, Buhari must go, and we have also seen uh, riots in Jos, uh, the terminus area to be precise, also demanding the, the the resignation of the president, and and people are now, are now attributing that to the the NSAS protests. Every citizen in this country has every right to demand that the president should resign. It's our God-given right. We voted him in, and if we want him to resign, he must listen to us. But when it comes to this issue of protests in terminals, those are not protesters, they are miscreants. Those are thugs. Perhaps uh, some politicians or somebody must have given them money to do what the nonsense they did in terminals. But we, the protesters, have been very peaceful. We've been here for more than 11 days. We come here from morning till night. We rejoice. We are happy. We sing the national anthem every one, one hour, and everything has been peaceful. What happened in Terminus, we are not aware. It's not us. It's another different set of people. Maybe they have sponsors. How do we know? How do you convince someone who is in Lagos, in America, in Johannesburg, that those those protesters in Terminus are not part of the, the ANSAS protests? They are not. The reason why they are not is because our protest has not even extended to Terminus. All the protests we've been having has been within the axis of Old Airport Junction, uh, Gadaview, Zama Gada Junction, and Zawan Junction. We have not crossed uh, to Terminus or Bauchi Road or any other axis on that side. All our protests have been within this place. So nobody has gone to protest in Terminus. Any other person that has gone to Terminus, they are on their own. It's not us. You understand? We are not the one. Okay.